Celebrate the best stories of the year with Ben Stiller, Will Ferrell, and the brightest stars in sports. The ESPYs, tonight at 9 on ESPN. Presented by Under Armour. Trey Wingo here to tell you that mobile ESPN is now available at Sprint stores. It's true, the new wireless service from ESPN that gives you the most comprehensive sports content on a phone is now even easier to get. Go to mobileespn.com to find a Sprint store near you. Check out the new hit movies you can order on demand and look what you can order right now. From the makers of Scary Movie. Idiot. Hell no, I won't marry you. God. Date Movie. Now on demand. Make some noise for now. Dave Chappelle is throwing a party and you're invited. Dave Chappelle's Block Party. Now on demand. Hit movies without the trip to the video store. On demand with Comcast Digital Cable. Hi, I'm the person. Dollars by switching car insurance. Yep, I'm the guy. Must be, because every day they tell me about a bazillion people who switched on TV, radio, billboards. They show me entire stadiums worth of people who switched. But Progressive Direct shows you side-by-side -side comparisons of competitors' rates and services, so you can see if their services are worth the savings. Those gazillion people should call Progressive, because no one likes to be wrong. Think easier. Think Progressive. The desert, and it is a duel that is finally shaping up a little bit. Allison Fisher threatening to run away with yet another championship matchup. Still leads 3-1, and with the break in rack five. But Jasmine Ocean finally on the board. And we will see if Allison gives her another chance in this rack to creep ever closer. Well, watch that break she went on the opposite side she hit the opposite side of the one ball than she has been and she failed to make a ball on the break this time she's hitting with a softer break and she's managed to make the corner ball and in the corner pocket and then this time she failed and look at this one ball's wide open here the two is kind of nestled in there between uh, a few balls so she's gonna have to really pay attention to get position but if she gets on this two mitt she's in good shape to run this rack, and that was so Good smooth. Speed, yep. I have been impressed. The matches that I have watched Jasmine play in the varying speeds that she can play shots, and it might not sound like that big a deal, but it takes all kinds of speed to obviously play at this level, and she seems to have the ability to just pull out at will. And that's a good point because a lot of the, especially the younger players, you see them either have a nice soft touch or a real power smacking the balls around, trying to force the cue ball around the table. But Jasmine has, does have both speeds, and you really need that. What she just did on that one ball, killing the cue ball, holding it right there and spinning the one in. It's really intricate little shots, which then sets up for an easier table also later on in the run. And it's easy, you know, it is easy. I don't care who you are, what you do. If this a player that you haven't played that much before, seen around, maybe you've heard of her, maybe not, and a player who's 20 years old, especially in, in a sport like billiards where you, a lot, you need a lot of knowledge to get to a certain height um, of ability, it's really easy to take somebody that a little bit lightly. You know, she's, she's just a girl. And she's, it really is. It's hard to kind of remind yourself that she is unbelievably explosive and she already has tons of experience from playing on the European tour. That is another great point about Jasmine. You may not have seen her here, but they know her worldwide. And in Europe, she plays consistently on the Euro Tour, the men's Euro Tour. 
And I talked to her about it. I asked if she was going to come over here regularly and play. And she said, I will play in America. The great tournaments and players are here. But I am not giving up playing against the men in Europe. It's what I want to do. I don't think there's that much of a difference between men and women in pool. And her attitude, because it's come from such a young age, is what is going to change the way this game is perceived. I really believe that. Absolutely. You and I have talked about it over the years, that it should be happening, and Jasmine Ocean is a great example of the filtering effect of young players coming in. And she's had such an incredible support of her family, her coach. Um, she's taken this seriously, like you said, from, from a very early age, and that's what it takes, is to feel like you belong. She felt like she belonged as the best player in the world, not just from the women, but men or women, since she was about three years old. She made up her mind. And now has two racks on the board back to back within a rack. Jasmine Ocean trailing Allison Fisher. While we have a moment, time to learn a little bit about the game of billiards. Here's our pro tip, sponsored by Pooldog.com and featuring our own Mark Wilson. One of the best teaching aids we have for self-improvement is the spot on the table. This allows us to evaluate the quality of the swing based on the follow-through. Amateur players oftentimes swerve or steer through the cue ball, and it looks like this. Professional players move their stick much straighter. Learn to move your stick like this, and I'll be seeing you on ESPN. The Riviera Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, the EnjoyPool.com Nine Ball Championship. It's the finals, and Allison Fisher three racks to lead us off in a race to seven people were starting to think whoops run away but jasmine ocean of austria 20 years old has now found a rhythm two racks in a row and four and five within a rack on the break in rack six mitch lawrence and the striking viking eva mattia lawrence and it's what we had hoped for now jasmine ocean getting a little bit of legs underneath her in that break a powerful one and a shot on the one and a good one. The only thing against her right now is the fact that the cue ball is so close to the rail. That means she has to elevate the back of the cue a little bit. Makes it a little bit trickier, but I don't see her having any problems making this one ball. Very conveniently, the two is right here. She can either draw it up, play the two in the same pocket, or do what she's doing and just roll it up a little bit. Play the two in the opposite corner. All right, now she's going to take, the fact that she's on the shot clock, she's playing this very smartly. She's already looking at what to do with a five ball. Obviously, her problem, her issue right now is getting to the four and playing the four up here. She wants to be somewhere in here. But what to do with this five, the fact that the seven is blocking that pocket. Okay, she's going to go up and play the four in the side pocket instead. And now she knocked the five in even in a trickier spot as far as getting position it looks like she's gonna go for a straight one rail position just high ball make the four come across her speed control is just great Mitch that way she can just make this here and hold the cue ball for the seven a eight and come down for the nine she's really playing smart pool very simple pool right now It has been so interesting to watch the progression this week, to see the confidence building. She's always had around her an aura of, I can do this. But when you beat the players she's beaten this week, it is not just an aura anymore. This is, this is for real, I can do this. Ava mentioned before the support of her family, her parents, Evelyn and Albin, and her coach, Mike Newman, and we can't say enough about Mike from an early age he met her when she was six so for 14 years they have been working together on her game Mike travels with her unusual in a sport that a lot of the players travel by themselves they, they certainly can work with coaches but to actually be on the road with your coach as it is in other sports is a great thing to watch happen in the world of billiards I think And how's this for an answer by 20-year-old Jasmine Ocean? First three racks to Allison Fisher, next three to Jasmine Ocean, and we are tied in Las Vegas.
USA. Played on around the world. Olhausen. This Friday, new heroes will rise up. Crack the code. Did you know Jesus was a Jew? Yeah. Cross the line. You can't get a chick, you mook. I turn down chicks left and right. Your chicks are your left and right. And break the silence. Oh. That's some white freaky stuff. Clerks 2, rated R. Everywhere this Friday. Wait, did you see that? Go back. Clearly, that woman is trying to get more fiber and calcium in her diet. When it's so much easier with Metamucil capsules plus calcium. Metamucil fiber for regularity. Plus as much calcium as an 8-ounce glass of milk for strong bones to help prevent osteoporosis. Metamucil capsules plus calcium. Stay regular, stay strong. With our new Super 6 mix, there's so many combinations for six bucks each, the possibilities are endless. Domino's Pizza, Buffalo Chicken Kickers, Large Pepperoni, and Chicken Wings. Thanks. I could have gotten large mushroom wings and cheesy bread. Right, or uh, three large sausage pizzas. Or wings, chicken kickers, and cinestics. Yep, uh, breadsticks. Kickers, wings. wings, kickers. You win. <laughs> Honey, I won. Guy told me I won. Domino's new Super 6 Mix. Choose three or more great menu items for just six bucks each. Get the door. It's Domino's new Super 6 Mix. Rack number seven here in Las Vegas at the Riviera Hotel and Casino. The finals of the EnjoyPool.com Nine Ball Championship. You see the Duchess of Doom with ball in hand. And here is why. Fantastic shot making by Jasmine Ocean. Good jump. There goes the one. You see her nervously eyeing the cue ball. And with good reason. Corner pocket. And a foul. Really, really nice shot by Jasmine. Unlucky on the back end of it, but the result the same. Allison Fisher with ball in hand and a table that is pretty much wide open, tied at three in a race to seven for the title here in Las Vegas. Safeties have been a big part of this story so far. We talk a lot about shot making ability, but it is often the defensive play and what you do with it that determines the outcome of a close match. Yeah, I mean, so far, neither players have missed a ball that I can recall in the entire match. So it's come down to safeties, kicking, jumping. And so important, just controlling the table. And even if you don't make an offensive shot, you don't make that big run out, controlling the table by playing safeties or push outs or whatever it may be is so important. And Allison has pretty much already planned this table. She knows exactly where she wants to make every ball. She's not going to take any chances. Just roll this five ball up. Leave herself a hair of an angle on the six. Just draw back for the seven. And that's one thing that Allison is so good at, Mitch, is making it, the game look so easy. And the main reason for that is because of her cue ball control. They just never have to shoot or not never, but rarely have to shoot a difficult shot. And she needed this. You know, she may be the Absolutely. number one ranked player and the strongest mental player out there on tour, but you know what? When you're ahead 3 nothing and somebody comes back and answers and ties it up, it can make you a little bit shaky. She has been challenged numerous times over the decade she has played as that cue ball rolls down table a little too far. A lot too far. You're right, she just put way too much on that cue ball. And look at this. That's an uncomfortable cut shot to have to make in the side or the corner. I don't even know if she can make it into the side pocket. Yeah, she's going for the side. <laughs> 